Oh, you're kidding me. The game didn't say it before I bet him. You're kidding me. Oh, fine. Okay, I probably put it in here just a little bit to show you guys, but I had to redo that whole boss battle. So, before my game crashes again, I'm gonna quit so it saves and then reload. Also, I realized that my message in the bottom right saying activate Windows was there the whole time. Whoops! I'm gonna change the game at a full screen. Okay. Oh, so this is how we get different weapons. Now we have a spear that's made out of lightning. Or at least it conducts lightning. What will the next one be? Like, Earth or something? It's cool, though. Now let's go around and see what we can get. So what's this? Small larger clump. Small healing shard. Silver of Adamantite. Oh, there was one back there. Luminous Visage. Oh, another retirement point. Demonic Artifact. Nice. I can upgrade my weapon further than... Small Lurcher Clump. Angelic Artifact. And small Lurcher Clump, I think that's all. Can I reach up there? I don't think I can. Hmm, yeah, I can't. Oh! I can hover with this, that's cool. So, now that that's done, I think I have an idea what would you ask of, this humble merchant? of where I need yes, to go with this. As you wish. Please, take your time. First of all, I want to go back to the start, and I just want to go through and see what cobwebs I could burn down and find out what's beyond them. <laughs> Okay, maybe this place is just laggy a little. I restarted my computer, so that should be good now. Oh, so we're back here now.
Oh! Oh! Oh, I get it. Yeah! Oh, that's cool. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, thanks, Rhino. Again. Before we fight those guys that we just died from, I'm gonna search the area for little cobwebs. I think I might buy one more, if I can get one. I might buy one more Nephilim thing. Just so it like, heals all my health no matter what. So, this can go up the wind storms, which I'm assuming there is a storm that allows me to go somewhere new. Well, I don't need to go somewhere new. That's the thing. I know exactly where I... Well, someone. I know exactly where I need to go. I don't actually know where I need to go. The game seems to, like, let you do your own thing. Which is one reason why I like it. Unlike Dark Souls 1 and somewhat 2, 2 not really, unless you're doing the main story. It allows you to just go off and do your own thing. Dark Souls 1 was always holding your hand. It's like, oh, you can only go to this place. Better go do it. That's her landing attack. It was literally, whoa. It is cool. Oh my god, that's OP as fuck. Okay. Come on, a god effect. Is there any other place around here? Nope. What's through here? a cluster. A place I couldn't get to before. That's always nice to me. Also, I caught that on the way down. That's awesome. Now I can't get back up there. But I can go over here. Okay, I was trying to like dodge him so I could heal within these breaks, but meh. I can change roll in there, that's cool. I think I'll keep my fire on.
Okay. I'm gonna stick to my storm one because my wrath attack might be able to stun him. There we go. Fragment of adamantine. I'd say that's worth it. Enlarge lodge cluster. Nice. I like it. So where does this send me back to? Because it seems like this is an area that I haven't been to before. These guys are stronger. Interesting. Whoa, what is that? What the fuck is that? Totally using my wrath attack on that black shatter guy. Okay. Sure. Use the wrong skill. I have no idea what you are, but you are going to die. Georgia. I swear, these guys keep on getting tougher and tougher. Fulgrim! surrounding me. Okay. I don't have to go that far away. That's good at least. See if that shadow guy respawns. He does. He respawns, but the other guy doesn't. That's interesting.
Okay, so there's four areas to explore in this area. This is one of them. Why is that guy though? It's very weird to me. Interesting. Speed to descend, A to ascend, and RB to dash underwater. So there are water mechanics in this game. Do I have a breathing meter? Also, good, I can use potions while underwater. I love how the rhinos sleep. It's so cute. It's like they're preparing for a battle. And they know it's going to come one day. They're just waiting for it. Fort Avarice. You guys are chumps to me. Most of you, at least. get up there. Well, it doesn't matter, I guess. It probably does matter. As far as I know, though, I can't get up there. There is something I could swing on, I believe. For now, though, one of us is Rhino. What were you guarding? Medium larger cluster. Seems like something I can't get to yet. Ooh, 
shortcuts. Interesting. I find it funny how, like, how close the Volgrim points are to each other in this game. And then number two, and I believe number one too, um, they seem so far apart. Like, I'd be hoping for a Volgrim point. Though I guess in those games, um, when you die, you don't automatically go back to a Volgrim point, do you? I need to replay them. Alright, let's leave. I just realized I'm dying. Phew. Hey, Volgrim. I'd really, really love some health right now. Die, and you get a that gold for free. Well, I mean, that involves the enemies resetting. Okay, what the fuck is that? Oh, this is how I get up to it, I think. Wow, I died to a little guy. Because I pressed RB instead of X to attack. <sighs> Doesn't matter though. Got what I wanted. Just means I have to deal with the enemies. Which, when you think about it, isn't that hard. Phew! That was, um, unexpected and annoying. I really want to fight these gargoyle looking things though. I must have died to this. I was like, did I really die to a little guy? I might have. But there's shadow things here too. Dead. That was cool. Angelic artifact, nice. I was told that um in the first Dark Siders game, 
in the firm in the area you meet Volgrim for the first time. Supposedly, if you destroy all the fire hydrants, <laughs> it summons a chest. And I'm like, what, really? I wonder if these gargoyle things... It's just like... Like, they're special enemies, so once you kill them for the first time, they won't come back. There we go. What the hell? What is this to do the bugs? Is this how I destroy those? Well, isn't that interesting? Hey, man. Fragment of Adamantine. How do I get in there? I guess I can't for now? That's fine, I suppose. Whoop! What the fuck? Okay. Those are scary. New enemies. Again. Okay, so I think it's time we use all of our things. Oh, shut it all. I'm gonna feed them all to Volgrim. Good evening. This will be fun for both of us. Because I want to upgrade my arcane. As you wish. <laughs> Seven percent. Fourteen percent. Twenty-one percent. Five percent. 35%, 42%, and we're good. So now my Havoc form encounters when I do a perfect dodge will be stronger. So let's see, will these gargoyles still be here? 
they are. I'm calling them gargoyles because they remind me of the gargoyles from uh, Dark Souls. I love it when I kill them when they're about, like in the middle of teleportation. It's funny. I was trying to do a perfect dodge to see the, the damage. Wasn't working. I think it took half that guy's health away by doing it though. I don't think I attacked him earlier. Yeah, that's my bad. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind a bit on these guys because I want to be strong enough that I can kill them faster. So I will... I think some of them drop the... No, I got them because they were guarding the fragments. Um, I'll find out how much souls they give me. I think it's a lot. And I'll use those souls to power up my... Um, arcane to probably about 10 just like my health and then I'll be putting all my attribute things into strength so hopefully when I come back my arcane will be 10 and my strength will be around 15 hopefully um, let me just test this how much do they give me so on 25 so far these guys give me 75 that's cool and these guys give me 75 as well. Those guys give me 50. And these guys give me 125. Cool. Sorry, I like knowing how much souls enemies are going to give me or experience in this point. It just, I like keeping track. So, yeah, I'll just grind for a while. Um, probably gonna die a lot, but as I said, there's no consequence with dying. But it just helps me refresh the enemies anyway, because this game, once again, when it comes to enemies respawning, I prefer Dark Souls. I've actually been meaning to get back into Dark Souls. As you, as you might have noticed, I paused Dark Souls series, the Let's Play for me. Um, pause my Let's Play of Dark Souls for this series. And, yeah, I'm not sure if I regret that or not, because Dark Souls was a little f more fun to grind on. Otherwise, I'll see you guys later.